Hello and welcome back. Sorry for the uh, late video. Normally I get my videos out on Friday. I had kind of a crazy week. So I wasn't able to get to this video until Friday, get to, to filming this until Friday. And I was going to do something else entirely, but uh, I just don't, I don't have time. I was doing research on another project for this, this video. I just don't have time to do that. And so this one was an easier video to make. So this is what we're making today. We're going to be getting into this a new docu-series is coming out, this incredibly racist docu-series that uh, Showtime is releasing. But as I said, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by and supporting my work. Please remember to like, comment, and share. And hopefully today is the day that I earn your subscription. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by July of this year. That's 2022. Make sure that you're still subscribed. Sometimes you do get unsubscribed, I know. But let's dive into the topic for today. So Sacha Jenkins is teaming up with Showtime to make a docu-series called Everything is Gonna Be All White. Wow, can you imagine what the world would be like if everything were all white? Oh. I shudder to think, don't you? Now, Sacha Jenkins is an individual who appears to be female. She has larger breasts than I do, very female features. She looks to be Asian or part Asian or Hispanic or part Hispanic and part Asian or something like that. I don't know her ethnicity. Her ethnicity, her nationality is said to be American. And Sasha Jenkins, so you know who we're dealing with here, is a wonderful human being that uh, Sasha is, uses he, him pronouns. When you're born with female genitals and you develop as a, as a woman over your entire life and you look to be female, that's an acceptable way of presenting yourself or demanding that people talk about you is using he, him pronouns. So everything is going to be all white is, is it's just it's going to be groundbreaking. You know what it is because when a country demonizes its dominant race, the, the race which is the, the most prominent, the most numerous in, in inside the country, then you know that's, that's always a good thing to do, especially when that race of people has done more to reduce human suffering and to pr promote human longevity and to save the lives of other human beings than any other race on the planet. I'm not saying that to say that white people are better than other people. I'm saying that to say that that's the truth about white people. That's just, that is the truth about white people. I mean, just look at, we'll take one small example, penicillin, developed and distributed by white people. The technology shared with the world so that everybody can use it to save their lives. And penicillin has saved the lives of millions of people. And that is not even the, the one development in the world that has saved more lives than any others. There's been a, there is a development by white people that has saved at least a billion lives, at least 1 billion lives. I'm not going to tell you what that is. I'll let you figure that out on your own. If you are like really, really curious about it, I will, you know, go down in the comments. Let, let me know if you want to know what that is. And I can post links about that or at least give you the names of those developments. That's just the reality that we live in. White people, their ideas have caused more peace and prosperity amongst human beings, reduced suffering amongst human beings more so than any other race. Yet we're the evil ones. I'm the evil one. I'm an evil bastard because I'm white. Rawr, look at you. You're an evil colonizer. Rawr, you ruined the world. You, you took away my freedoms. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Okay. If you say so. Never mind the fact that the Ottoman Empire invented modern slavery and their favorite people to, were, to enslave were white women. The Mongolians started in Mongolia, you know, that eastern, northeastern part of Asia above China there. Traveled all the way west across Asia, enslaving and slaughtering people. Not too many Mongolians are white. Last time I checked, uh, there's only maybe a tiny percentage of the population that is Mongolian that is also that is also white. In fact, I'd probably say around 0% of the population. Why don't we go ahead and get into the trailer for this uh, video now. This, this docu-series is coming out. I saw this a few days ago. I want to say something. I was going to put this off until Monday, but like I said, it's just just... It's going to be an easier video for me to make. And since I had limited time this week, here we go. Now, it starts off with this warning. This trailer may trigger white people. Oh, how? Oh, my gosh. It's going to. It's, I'm definitely triggered by it. I sure I surely am. But you know what? I'm a big boy. I think I'll be all right. I think I'm going to get over it. Let, let's see what the what else the trailer has to say. I think what annoys me most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim. <laughs> You're right. I mean, Jesse Smollett didn't pretend like he was a victim, ever. Neither did any of the other black people I've come across in my life. You know, it's so ridiculous. 
How many times I've seen black people pretending to be the victims? Pretending to be the victims of something. When white people do it, though, it's so annoying. So annoying. Oh, my gosh. And look at her. She's pretending to be a victim here, right here, right now. What's also annoying is when they, you know, when they kill us. Yeah, it's, it's really annoying when white people kill black people. What about when black people kill white people? Because you know what? Just by the numbers, more white people are killed by black people than black people are killed by white people. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. And you know who kills most black people? What race of people kills most black people out there? Black people. Black people kill more black people than they do any other race. More people are killed by black people than any other race. Than any other race combined. If you took all of the Asian people, all of the Hispanic people, all of the white people, and put them together and said, how many black people have you killed this year? That number would be smaller than the number of black people killed by black people. I don't, I don't know what to tell you about facts. I mean, they're, they're just terrible. What is fragile about whiteness when everything has been constructed around it? Well, that's not true. Only in white countries has everything been constructed around white people. Countries that were founded by white people for white people. And that is no longer the case in the United States and has not been the case in the United States for generations. I know you want to go out there and say, oh, redlining, oh, Jim Crow, oh, redlining is a myth. Thomas Sowell has a black man, Thomas Sowell, a black, has, has debunked it more than once. You can just probably YouTube Thomas Sowell redlining and, and he'll talk about how it's not true. It's based on income, not on race. Every part of who I am has been distorted or criminalized. It's really That's Lind Linda Sorsor, right? Let's go back there and see if we can find her again. There she is. Linda Sorsor. Isn't she white? I mean, she has hazel eyes. She has white skin. She's pretending to be a Muslim. You hang out with the Taliban and everything that you, you are has been criminalized. Huh. Well, yeah, if you hang out with terrorists, you're going to be treated like a terrorist. I don't know what to tell you. Criminalized. It's really just a bunch of white lies. <laughs> they're storming the Capitol. You're not paying. Oh my gosh, they're storming the Capitol. I, they've been trying to say this was about uh, white supremacy ever since it happened even though there were Hispanic people and black people who were involved in this little fiasco. And, you know, the people were encouraged to do this. They were lied to and said, hey, you can overturn the vote if you storm the Capitol. Patriots, you're ridiculous. Yes, Margaret Cho, that bastion of intelligence. Oh, she's she's a comedian, right? She's hilarious. Have you ever seen her stand up act? I mean, it's, it's almost the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. No, it's almost the least funny thing I've ever seen. But then we all know that, that women don't know how to be comedians. Yeah, they did look ridiculous, especially if you're gonna dress up like a buffalo and storm into the Capitol and walk around and act like an idiot. One of the definitions of American whiteness is ignorance. Do you know what they, did, what they did there? They showed, let's go back if we can. Far right with the Confederate flags here. You know, look at us, all that stuff. And then they show Donald Trump as if they're conflating the two. Look, Donald Trump is hugging the flag. See, isn't he a white supremacist? He's hugging the American flag saying that the Confederate flag is the same as the American flag and it's not. And then they go on, this lady here goes on to say, hey, you know what? One of the definitions of whiteness in America is ignorance. What dictionary are you getting this out of? Because it seems to me like one of the definitions of ignorance is more like extreme black people who think that white people are all evil. So yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Why don't you pick up a dictionary? Definition of whiteness is not ignorance. Believe me, I am well-educated. You think it's ignorance because you've been told your whole life for your 70 years you've been alive here that, oh, white people are stupid. They don't know what we really suffer from. It's just, they just don't know. They just don't know. They just don't know. They just don't know our problems. They don't know our troubles. They don't know what they've done to hurt us. They, all they do is keep the, the black man down. That's all they do all the time, every single day. And it's all because they're ignorant or they're mean. They're the devil, as Malcolm X said. On national television, all white people are the devil. And, and you expect me to go around believing what you have to say here in this documentary. Whatever. Let's uh, go on. Prince. White people, we are not your problem. You are. Are you sure about that? And nobody's going around saying that black people are our problem. I mean, there are some people who do that, of course, the extremists. But I think that people are saying when it comes to color in any kind of way, which is not actually color, it's, it's, it's something different, is this mass, unchecked, illegal immigration is our problem. And now people conflate that with racism, but it's not about race because I've seen some Hispanic people who have blue eyes and lighter hair than I have. So it's not about your race. It's about you coming here illegally causing problems in our country because of the massive number of people coming here. Did white people today feel any responsibility for sleep? <laughs> Hell yeah. White so white people, that's what they said there was white people have responsibility for slavery. 
So like I said earlier, Ottoman Empire, they weren't white. They were Middle Eastern Arabic people. And you know, when it comes to the United States and the slave trade, they were pretty small by comparison to the rest of the world. You know that like way more slaves were sent to South America? Huh. Who are living? I mean, I know I just said that like, hey, they, hey, you know, not all Hispanic people are, are Hispanic. Some of them are, are white. And it's, that is true from a racial perspective. I mean, I work with a girl who has blue eyes and she's Hispanic. And she, her hair is about the same color as mine. Her skin's maybe slightly darker. I, when I saw her, I thought she was white. I was like, well, yeah, you're white, right? But and, and she's like, no, I'm not. But no, you are. You're, you're, you're genetically white. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you other than that. You can say you're not, but you're genetically white. And then on top of that, more slaves were shipped to South America, like I said. And it wasn't like, oh, oh, you know, 1% more slaves. No, it was like 500% more slaves were shipped to South America than were shipped to the United States during the slave trade. 150, 200, 300 years ago. Moving on. Is Jesus or black Jesus? Jesus was not white. <laughs> oh, geography. I'm looking at geography right here. Jesus came from somewhere around in this area here. What are they saying that is? I can't can't quite read because it it's blurry. It looks like it says Lebanon. It's I don't think maybe it is Lebanon over there. Somewhere around um, Israel, Palestine, and all that stuff. Yeah, Jesus was a Jew. Yeah, he probably wasn't blonde. He was not black, though. He certainly wasn't black. And he came out of Egypt. Let's say Jesus came out of Egypt. Not that Jesus is even real. In spite of what the internet might be telling you, the odds that Jesus was a real person are really virtually zero. I mean, they're like so close to zero, they might as well be zero. They're way closer to zero than they are to he was a real person. Black people don't come from Egypt either. Sorry, these are all Arabic people here. This is not considered black Africa. Black Africa is south of the Sahara. Ain't no way Jesus walked around with blonde hair and blue eyes. Well, that all depends on your definition of blonde hair and blue eyes. Jesus might have brown hair. And I've been told many times by people who are not white that I'm blonde, even though I have clearly brown hair. But they say that, uh, no, I don't have black hair, therefore I'm blonde. So. White culture fears the end of the world. For us as native people, the end of the world already happened like multiple times. White culture fears the end of the world. Don't you think that everybody should be afraid of the end of the world? It's a pretty big deal if the world ended. And uh, you're telling me that the, for Native Americans, the world already ended multiple times? Then how come you're still here? I mean, if the world ends, then you're gone. That's how that works. And if you're saying, oh, 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 our world, like our way of life ended, well, then that's a different thing from the world ending. All right? Jeez, these people are so hyperbolic. It's just disgusting. Symbols and monuments. These are mementos of racism. Bring that statue down. What about TCBY yogurt or something? Yeah, and you're tearing down statues of um, Lincoln. Yeah, that's that's a monument to slavery, uh-huh. Everybody can get behind. <laughs> the truth has to be told about history. The truth is being told about history. We have to make sure that these stories are told from our perspective. There is only one perspective, and that is the truth. You want to distort that and say, oh, look, no, see, the, the black people... And then to a lesser degree, the Hispanic people and maybe some Asian people, they were the real people who invented all these amazing things and built this. I mean, look at the city right here. The, the black people and the Hispanic people and some a few Asian people developed all the technology that went into making these amazing looking buildings, making this bridge. That's why all this stuff, you know, existed in Africa before white people came along. There's always hope. No, say we don't give up. It's about obliterating systemic and institutionalized racism. Yeah, it's already been obliterated. Oh, this right here is the Sacha Jenkins person who thinks that she is a he. Looks like a, a man to you, doesn't she? She looks very much masculine, doesn't she? I mean, she's got those broad shoulders and the narrow waist and the big muscles on the upper body and uh, the thinner lips. Not She has those, those really, I mean, look at her. She has those really full lips. Totally female, but, uh, and also, by the way, your art is crap. This is a wild place, y'all. It's a wild place. I know Harriet and Frederick be up there just like, <laughs> what is they gonna do? So that started uh, yesterday, and um, I, you know what? I might <laughs> I might go ahead and get a copy of these and just um, review them so that you can all get an idea of what they're like without taking the time to watch them because it's going to be – I'm sure it's going to be hilarious. They, they have a whole article written about this. I'm going to leave links down in the comment section like I always do, but they're pointing out, oh, well, look at this thing happened. They, they bring up one supposed fact in the article about – you know, white people being mean to black people. You people have to realize this is not about race. It's not. My office mate who's in his 60s and is black says, no, that is a deflection. 
It's not about race. It's about who has money and who does not. You guys got to understand that it's like more individual than you think it is. It, look, bad things have happened to black people and white people have done those bad things. Yes, they have. Bad things have happened to Native Americans and white people did those bad things. Totally agree. That did happen. It wasn't all one-sided, though. It wasn't all one-sided. Black people did bad things to black people, which caused white people to do bad things to them. Native Americans did bad things to white people, which caused white people to respond in a bigger way. I've, I've done the research. Look, the, the, the Native people were breaking their word before the white people stood up and said, okay, we're not going to take this anymore. And then they brought the hammer down. Yes, white people did terrible things to the Natives. But um, you could also say, hey, the white people shouldn't have been coming here. But they did. That's the story of history. We can't change that now. It's already done. What are you going to do? Anyway, thanks again for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good weekend.